Well, hello everyone. It's uh, Tuesday, August 4th. You guys just left. Well, some of you just left. Some of you left a little bit earlier. I was a little disappointed that you didn't stick around to uh, to view the rest of the film. Hopefully, uh, you'll look up enough information to answer some of the questions as we discuss it and its relevance with regard to actual policing and the rights of police academy re recruits in our next segment, our next class next week. A couple other things I wanted to, to touch base on uh, before everybody got out of here, but obviously some of you got out of here, was the, the project. Uh, obviously, we went over in class and reviewed the, the way that you share the project, and I need to see them. Uh, if you have done the project, please get into the ePortfolio and get it up there right away. Uh, as we saw in class, I have one, it's Katie's, who managed to finish her project on time and got it uploaded. Uh, today because she had some technical difficulties, but I would suggest that if she's done and she's doing well that everybody else ought to be able to do the same. So if you're having problems, get a hold of me, get a hold of uh, Julie Herskovitz, possibly Mr. Pijanowski, one of your comp uh, Gonzalez, other people very familiar with it, and let's get it done, people. We need to stay on track. Uh, our goal is success for everybody. You know, I know a couple of you are behind, whether it's uh, personal issues or what have you. A couple of you I didn't get to talk to today and I wanted to to find out where you're at, uh, but I, I am hoping that you're going to be getting me the, the work that you need to get uh, fairly quickly like today uh, or tomorrow. So please call me if you are, are one of those people and, and we need to discuss it. As far as next week and the lectures that will be following this particular video, I'm going to post this one right away so I can get, get to everybody and then it'll be stitched in with the, uh, the one PowerPoint for the lecture for, for next week's class. But next week we're going to be talking about the topic of financial administration. Now you remember from ICS that the topic of finance and administration was, was something that uh, was needed in an emergency operation, but what, what we're going to talk about it next week is from the perspective of actually running or managing your agency whether it be that police department, whether it be that corrections agency department, courts, what have you. Uh, obviously, we need money to run the operation. Those of you with families, kids, or your own, even those of you that are single and, and take care of yourselves, you have to figure out how to make the money work from payday to payday. Uh, some of us living paycheck to paycheck, month to month, whatever. You know, I don't think any of us, including myself, are independently wealthy that don't have to worry about a budget. So we're going to look at it from a perspective of an agency, talk about where does that money come from? Who decides whether uh, the police department gets the money, the Department of Public Works gets the money, the courts or the prison system gets the money? And how do we prioritize our budgets? And we're going to do an exercise in class where you're going to be looking at a circumstance where, whether it be a police department, corrections, or courts, you're going to have, uh, have exercises for all three of those and basically a wish list. You have so much money, you have to decide which of these items is the most important. As an example, police department, let's say, you know, we need five new police cars because the ones we have are beat up and, and uh, we, need to, we need to move on because they're not safe. Maybe... We need more bulletproof vests. We want to upgrade our firearms. We want to fix the, uh, the holding cell in a police station because of new regulations. You have to look at those issues. And if there's a restriction, there's not an infinite amount of money in, in a municipal, municipal government, you have to look at that and say, okay, maybe we should hold the police cars till next year. Uh, we need to upgrade the cell block because that's mandatory, required by the state Department of Corrections. Uh, you know, there's a variety of reasons, and you have to look at those. So the exercise that we're going to do uh, next week is you're going to be looking at it from an administrator's perspective as to how they decide what should be in the budget. What should we keep? What should we delay? What do we not need at all? You know, do we actually need to uh, change the lockers in the locker room? Do we need to change the uniforms? We had, in my department, one year the chief decided that he didn't like the royal blue stripe that we had, which was approximately the color of the shirt I have on today, and he wanted to go to a gold stripe because some other agency that he liked had the gold stripe. Uh, and a lot of money was spent on that particular issue. I thought it was a total waste of time and a waste of money. He thought it was a value. 
I don't know why. It made us stand out like sore thumbs, especially at night. You got that gold stripe. Hey, there's the cop. Those are the kind of things you want to look at. You know, some chiefs do waste money on things that are their little pet peeves or pet projects. Uh, we have to look at it from a really uh, economical perspective. Uh, remember that we are the trustees of the money of our citizens, and we have to use it appropriately and use get things that are going to help the community and help our officers to do their jobs safely and securely. So look forward to that lecture. I believe that's uh, chapter 17 in your textbook on financial administration. Make sure you read it. Make sure you uh, look at the concepts in there and understand them. As far as budgeting, there's different types of budgets that we're going to look at. Uh, just so you, you are, are ready to roll and, and do this exercise next week. Thank you very much and have a great afternoon.